to um, the UK carbon market is part of the European carbon market, mostly because the European emission trading scheme is a much wider um, scheme than just, just the UK, so it covers all of Europe. And there are some other elements within the UK uh, that are covered by the carbon markets. So there are um, schemes for smaller enterprises, but mostly the UK carbon market is determined by and driven by the European Emission Trading Scheme. Um, and that scheme has been in place for several years, seven years now, uh, and is forecast to continue until 2020 at least, uh, with ever increasingly uh, deep targets for carbon emissions. Uh, yeah, absolutely, of course, and I think that, that could happen in two ways. Um, the first is that um, Brazilian projects, and especially forestation, or deforestation, um, avoided deforestation projects, could be undertaken in Brazil, and then the um, carbon credits or the offsets can be sold internationally. And so that will benefit um, the avoided uh, deforestation work that the Brazilian government is doing at the moment, but it will also benefit the international community as well, because it will reduce the costs of complying with legislation um, developed in Annex 1 countries. The second area where it can really benefit um, Brazil is potentially where a um, international climate finance initiative is undertaken uh, and international finance can move into Brazil to help industry um, re reduce its emissions uh, and develop uh, and grow in a more sustainable way.